Good morning. I'm here with Greg Caldera Calderero to talk about firewalking. Both of us have done firewalking. We're at the Coltsmith General Store. I just want to show you the beautiful artwork around. This is the general store in Coltsmith. In my family, it's known as the Eggy Store because we used to go here on Sunday morning with my son. He likes their subs. When I go see him, I bring him one. It's very quaint. But what I really want to talk about today is when you do something crazy to get out of your comfort zone, to like redirect yourself and really test your limits, test your fears, break through whatever barrier that you're breaking through. A few years ago, I did fire walking and right before I did it, I actually had like a meltdown thinking about what was I doing and how was I going to do it. But we're going to talk about when we both did fire walking. Okay, so tell me about your experience with fire walking. So, so I did the fire walk back in August and uh, in the middle of Newark, New Jersey. It basically set up where thousands of people walked over the fire. And basically it was one o'clock in the morning after probably eight hours worth of sort of conditioning to get your mind, body, and soul ready to start on a journey of being able to do anything. And fire walking is sort of represents the fact that if you could walk on fire, you could pretty much do anything. And it's about conditioning your mind to take yourself and do the things that you can't do. And that's, that's it was a, it was a, a earth-shattering experience, a life-changing experience, and, and thousands of people have done it. I can't believe that, that at this point, tens of thousands of people have probably done it. But it was a very personal thing. Everybody's in their own zone. It's very, very, very impactful. So it's very impactful. And what it is, is you condition yourself to be able to focus on one thing. And as you're lining up to do this, in your mind, you're getting ready. You've been practicing this and practicing getting in that peak state of mind, that focused state of mind. And then somebody whispers in your ear to go. And it's like a long, I think it's like 12 feet of walking. 12 to 15 feet of walking on hot coals. They're real hot coals. And you don't want to turn into a marshmallow. So you get ready and it's almost like you're hypnotized during before then to get yourself ready. Now But the big the big picture can I, can yeah. I interject a second? The big picture in from both walking on fire and in life is your ability to change your state. Your own ability to change the things in the environment that's happening around you. It's how you it's not what happens in life, it's how you handle what happens in life. And there's every, we all have to walk on for fire at some point in time in our lives. You know, you ever going throughout the course of a day and you get that, if you have children or you, something happens and all of a sudden you, your life has to take a complete 90 degree turn. That's a change of state. And it's how you handle those changes of state that basically make you resilient in the ability to handle everything. And that's, that's really what it comes down to. It's how you handle things. It's not what happens to you. Good things and bad things happen to good and bad people. But it's how you handle what happens, and that's what it is. It's this, the ability to handle what seems to be this inhuman possibility. And people, you know, you get little burns and things like you know, but, but it's really... I didn't have any. I didn't have any either. And I think the people that didn't change their state completely weren't able to do it. So you're physiologically changing your state. You're physiologically changing your state. You know, you know how you get pumped, and there's, there's stories of people that are... In a car accident where three or four people could flip over a car because there's a child underneath it or something like that. You could actually change your physiological state through your psychology. And if you could do that... It all begins mind. with your mind. It all begins with your thinking. And it all begins with strengthening your mind. And that's learned. Strengthening your mind is learned. So if you're going through a rough time, not that I'm suggesting that you walk on, on fire. I'm not suggesting that. Don't do this at that. home. Don't yeah, try this at don't home. Don't try this at home. But what I am suggesting is that by you doing exercises, whatever they are, to strengthen your mind, to put you in the right frame of mind to handle what you're dealing with, is really the, the key. Okay, I want to say good morning. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Susan, Janet. Good morning. Thank you all for watching, Barry. Thank you so much, for Ronnie. 
I really appreciate it. The coffee at the Cold Snake General Store is really so good. Outstanding. My favorite kind of look, coffee. And I want you to have a really good day. Please like this page. And also, I have a, now I have a YouTube channel, Janet Crane. Subscribe to it so that we can keep doing this. Have a really great day. Enjoy.